What do you see as the three most important issues in the sheriff's race? Um, I, I think the, the three most important issues are uh, probably drugs and narcotics and the associated crimes that go with that trade, if you will. Um, then probably cyber and technology related crimes. Uh, and then lastly would be the growing gang situation, both in our community and in the communities that surround us. But, you know, to further elaborate on each one of them, the, uh, the narcotics, that, that's a problem that we're continuously striving to work at and get a grasp on. Uh, but, you know, the, as soon as you take one drug dealer down, another one steps into his shoes. Uh, so it's, it's a continuing battle. We'll stay the course with the fight. Uh, our narcotics division is very aggressive. Plus we have a street crimes unit that I would anticipate continuing and trying to add additional manpower to when revenue streams are present that could fund additional staff. Uh, but for right now, just to, to continue the concerted efforts of those two units. And just recently, we, we were successful, they were successful in making a, a very good seizure, well over $400,000 in currency and vehicles, and then even more than that value, street value of narcotics. So they're very aggressive in that area. My uh, proposal would be to continue that level of aggressiveness and only add to it or bolster it if possible. Uh, then the, the cyber or technology related crimes. We're faced with victims at two ends of the age spectrum. We have young children that are being preyed on by internet predators. Then we have the senior citizen population at the other age spectrum that is being preyed on by scams, frauds, identity thefts, uh, things of that nature that are technology related. and. Uh, uh, those are two areas that also need additional attention now and in the future. So again, if revenue was present, whether it be through grant funding or county funding, uh, my goal would be to pursue some investigative positions to address some of these issues. Then the last uh, most important area would be that of the gangs. We have a good grasp on the gang situation in the county now. We're a component on a regional task force that is made up of five municipalities, the FBI and the state police. Um, so again, we're very aggressive in that area. Uh, my desire would be, if at all possible, and the other jurisdictions agreed, would be to just bolster those efforts, maybe with additional staffing in the future, again, when and if revenue is present to hire. Okay. Um, the final question we have is, why should the voters of Spotsylvania County choose you as the next sheriff? Okay. Um, I'm well educated. I, I, have, I have formal schooling above and beyond any of my opponents. Uh, I have a, a bachelor's in criminal justice, which uh, arms me to be a good cop. But then more importantly, and I think this is what a leader today needs, I have a master's in public administration. And I think that has equipped me to be able to, to navigate the, uh, the, the intricate networks of bureaucracy and the government. Uh, I, I bring a lot to the table. Uh, I've, I've written millions of dollars of grants over the years. Uh, don't do that anymore. But I have that knowledge base to bring to the table. and it prompts me to always be looking for federal assistance whenever and, and, and wherever possible. There's a lot of money out there in both the federal government for uh, law enforcement and then the private sector. And I'm not bashful about going for, for grants and trying to do the right thing to save the taxpayer dollar. So I'm, I'm aggressive in those areas, but more importantly, I think I have the, I already have a, a, a well laid foundation and work rapport with the uh, elected Board of Supervisors and County Administration that neither of my opponents have. I've worked time and time again with all of the County Government and the Board members and uh, just just you know bring a lot to the table in that regard as well. Uh, a 23-year stellar career in law enforcement uh, also assists me. Uh, I know what it's like to be uh, you know, a young deputy, work in the street, answering calls. I've worked my way up and held every rank in the department. So uh, I know what they're looking for. And I know what uh, I know what I need to do as a leader to maintain their confidence in me 
and also keep them uh, you know, high spirited and, and a level of morale in the department that uh, creates a good work environment where we're actually uh, providing the service that the county so well deserves. All right, thank you.